So if you go around the Southwest, you see many indigenous symbols, icons, and artworks, but you don't see them around Flagstaff very often. And this has been a concern. I brought Rose to the county park and we walked along the trails and I said to Rose, what do you think? Should we have a sculpture exhibition with an indigenous representation theme here? And we're talking about the different ideas for the project and where we wanted the art to be. And once we had clarity for the space, it started to sprinkle. It was a real gentle sprinkle. And I told Jenna, in my Diné culture, we talk about spirituality and how we believe the Holy Ones that agree with a prayer or a conversation, they bless it with moisture. So it sealed the deal. Through the visibility concept, community members wanted more indigenous names for streets, buildings, parks, and public art to depict and honor indigenous people. As conversations grew, it turned to including other people of color to have visibility through the arts. It was important to take on indigenous kinship attitude and to share the space with other relatives through multicultural means. The decision to open up the project from indigenous to multicultural was great because one of the things we struggle with in the city is finding diverse representation in the artists and the art. Once you parcel it out into the different groups and say, okay, how many people in those groups are artists and how many people in those groups can do public art? The pool gets smaller and smaller and sometimes we tend to work with the same artists. We have an opportunity to showcase art with the important theme and purpose of representing indigenous cultures. I discovered the call to artists and this particular request was for artwork that would embody or include cultural traditions like iconography, storytelling, or a connection to nature, the land, or the community. Having studied anthropology in college, I was really inspired by this particular project's concept. So I worked with my friend and fellow artist, Reggie Fitchett with Divine Art Creations to come up with an idea and we applied. And then when we were chosen as one of the four artists to participate, I was super excited. To be included in a project representing multicultural perspectives in a public setting was a really wonderful opportunity for me to share my perspective and values in a way that would also enrich my local community. The citizens of Flagstaff are very proud and outspoken about what Flagstaff is. They want things to be unique and not necessarily something you'll see in any other town that doesn't represent the city in some way. And this way, public art really is about placemaking. And so putting the art exhibition in a natural setting has been very important. It has tied it to its core because the relationship between the indigenous cultures, nature, and the city is so strong. To me and my people, Flagstaff has very big spiritual significance. Growing up off the reservation, Northern Arizona has allowed me to connect with nature. It's where I draw inspiration for my art. I've always felt that the most important thing an artist can do is receive recognition on a hometown level. It is a huge honor. And it's, it's, it's really nice to be able to have um, a part of my culture represented here for the city of Flagstaff. For not only my goal for this project is to inspire others with my art. I love to study ancient Mexican cultures and draw inspiration from them when I'm creating. Over time, I've been developing this sense to keep digging and researching, learning that everything is connected to culture and nature. All this information is in my DNA, and I think it's important to share it with people to keep the culture alive. My dad was one of the first generation sculptors of the Shona Stone Sculpture Movement of Zimbabwe, where I was born and raised. I wanted to understand why my dad was an artist, and I aspired to be like him from a young age. Since then, I have always wanted to be an artist to share my family-oriented culture across the globe. The city of Flagstaff is acknowledging the importance of including art 
from all walks of life in the community. And I love that. My parents kind of scared me away from pursuing a career in art at a young age, so I went to college and I didn't make much artwork for over a decade. It was only once I got back to Flagstaff and discovered these grant funding opportunities to participate in public art programs that I picked it back up again. Art always takes a back seat when funding is low or scarce. It's important to highlight the city's effort to support artists and fund these types of projects. From a public parks perspective, these open spaces provide opportunities for personal enrichment and enjoyment. Parks also play an important role in mental health, uh, stress relief, mindfulness, and contemplation. When you add the opportunity to enjoy the arts in an outdoor setting, in my view, you're getting the best of both worlds. It speaks volumes about making someone feel welcome and like they belong, and this project is a way to do that. Now it is my honor to introduce my friend, Liz Archuleta. I want to thank the City of Flagstaff and Coconino County for their collaboration on this um, incredible project and this addition to the Elizabeth Liz C. Archuleta Park. It's a wonderful thing for the people coming into this area to see how the art is tied to the land. It gives all the artists an opportunity to share their stories. And it shows that Flagstaff is recognizing all different types of cultures. And that's a major thing. Our culture has really evolved as a whole. And I feel like nowadays society is much more purposefully inclusive and celebratory of various cultures. They're all here and all in the mix. And I think this is one way that I can support the movement of embracing, including, and celebrating diversity. It's about love, it's about togetherness. It's about preservation. I truly believe these types of projects bring people together and they come to appreciate the healing qualities of art. Being represented in a public space also affirms belonging and inclusivity. It engages all community members to see what is important to people and to begin to appreciate each other. Creativity is a silent universal language that weaves all cultures together.